Hello, I'm Mary Parkinson, and you're watching television history. This is the grand no holds barred master fan final. It's been a tough 12 shows. The standard has been exceptional and the performances sensational. None more so than our three finalists. Alec Fraser, Martin Hare, and Simon Rumsey. Harder than a half-time team talk by Mr. Alex Ferguson. That's the way master fans be. You should know the score by now. We begin with the general knowledge round. So let's welcome Alec Fraser from Stretford, a settlement who has followed the Reds for more than 30 years through the bad times and the good times. Hi, Alec. How are you feeling tonight? A bit nervous. What have you done to prepare for the final? Have you swatted up? Uh, yes, just browsed through a few books. What's been your mem most memorable moment so far in the show? Uh, staying in a chair here, actually. I was told to go. Okay, the whistle has been blown. So we begin with the 60-second general knowledge round. There is a point available for every correct answer. Our contestants can pass on any questions they don't know and go back to them if time permits. So your 60 seconds start now. Who was the first United player to score in the League Cup final? Uh, no one wants that. Correct. Against which club did Andy Cole score his only league hat trick last season? Barnsley. Correct. In the summer of 1989, United paid £750,000 to Norwich for a player who would win an England cap. Name him. Um, Mike Field. Correct. Ian Wright came on in both the 1990 Cup, FA Cup final and replay. Who did he replace in both games? Pass. Name the pair sent off in the 1968 second leg of the World Club Championship against Estudiantes for squaring up to Medina. George Best. Correct. Who in 1977 scored in both the FA Cup semi-final and the final for United? Genevieve. Correct. Against which club did Mark Hughes score after in just nine minutes in 1985? Yeah, no That was Villa. Prior to Can Chelsea in 1994, who was the last player to score a hat trick in the Manchester Derby game for either side? Alec Dawson. That was Francis Lee. You've scored five and you passed on question four. Ian Wright came on in both the 1990 FA Cup final and replay for Phil Barber. Congratulations. It's time to know what, when and where. Our contestants have to try and answer four questions all relating to the same event. They can't pass in this round. So, Alec, who, having scored against the Reds in an FA Cup final, joined United for a fee of around £900,000? Frank Stapleton. Correct. When did Stapleton join the Reds? 85. That's 81. August 81. Where did the Irishman go after leaving United? Oh. It, it was Ajax. And we, what team was he player manager of between 91 and 94? Oh. It was Bradford City. You scored one out of four. Next to show off his razor sharp skills in this Master Fan Grand Final is Martin Hare from Smallbridge Rochdale. Hello, oh. uh, Martin. Ready to demonstrate you know how much about the Reds? Yeah, yeah. So, how are you feeling tonight? A um, little nervous. Yeah, in the semi final. You're very confident at the same time. <laughs> so, extremely mixed. Yeah. You had a cracking specialist round on Dennis Law in the last. in the semi final, didn't you? Mm. Was that just knowledge or did you actually swat up on that? No, it, it's knowledge. I was I was brought up quite close to the ground, so summer holidays were spent autograph hunting and, and Dennis was the big star then. Absolutely. He's very nice as well. Yes, he is a nice man, isn't he? Me. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. Precisely the same as before, 60 seconds in your general knowledge round. You can pass on any you don't know, and we'll come back to them if there's time. Your 60 seconds start now. Who was the Danish international fullback who played for the Reds in the 1980s? John Silverberg. Correct. At the start of the 89-90 season, United hammered the champions 4-1. Who were they? Arsenal. Correct. Who scored Oldham's goal in the 1990 FA Cup semi-final, scoring from an Ian Marshall cross to send the game into a replay? Oh, yeah. Roger Palmer. Correct. What club 
on New Year's Day 1996 defeated the Reds by four goals to one. Southern Hospital. Correct. When Peter Schmeichel was sent off in the FA Cup sixth round at Old Town in 93-94, which player was sacrificed so Les Dealey could come on? Paul Barker. Correct. Which future United player scored for commentary in the 1985 FA Cup run? Gibson. Terry Gibson. Correct. Who in 1949 became the first United player to win the Football Writers Player of the, of the Year award? Johnny Carey. Correct. Who was the first player to be bought by United for a fee of £100,000 or more from another English club? William Morgan. Correct. Who in 1979 scored a hat trick against Leeds? Andy Ritchie. Correct. You scored nine out of nine. No passes. Now I ask the question, who, what, when and where? Four points up for grabs in this round, Martin. Who did United buy from Alex Ferguson's Aberdeen side, side and who scored on his league debut against Watford? Gordon Strachan. Correct. When did Strachan join United? Uh, 84, 84, 85 season. Correct. Where had Strachan played before joining Aberdeen? St. Johnston. No, Dundee. Strachan also scored in his FA Cup debut in a 3 0 defeat of which side in January 85? Bournemouth. Correct. Three out of four. Well done. Last into the grand final arena, Simon Rumsey, a red from Macclesfield. Hello, Simon. Hello, Mary. How are the nerves tonight? Mm, okay, thank you. How, what have you done to prepare for this? Uh, watched a video and read a book. Just uh, not too much. And which is your most favourite bit of the quiz? Uh, it's not the little mugs. <laughs> and you, okay, let's move on into your general round. The same as before. One point for every question you get right, pass on any you don't know, and I'll come back to them if there's time. Your 60 seconds start now. Which player scored for Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League at Old Trafford in 96-97 and also scored in the final itself? Okay. Correct. On the 20th of August 1994, both United and their opponents entered the game with 10 men. Who did the Reds play on the opening day of that season? QPR. Correct. Name the player who left United and joined through Alexandra and later went on to become the England captain. Yeah. Well, correct. Name the older goalkeeper who faced United in the 1990 FA Cup semi-final and replay. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, correct. Name the United player who made his two England appearances in 1985. Bust. At the end of the 1988-9 season, Jim Layton had conceded just one goal in seven games, a penalty at Anfield. Who scored it? Bust. That was Jan Mulvey. United returned to the European competition in 1976-77 and lost to which former European champions in the UEFA Cup first round first leg? Those Ajax. You passed on question five. The United player who made his two England appearances in 1985 was Gary Bailey. He scored four. Moving swiftly on to who, what, when and where. A four points up for grabs in this round. Who scored on his debut against West Ham United and in the 1980s departed to become player manager of Swindon Town? Lou Mackay. Correct. When did the Scot join United? 1973. Correct. Where had he been playing before joining the Reds? Celtic. Correct. Macari also scored in his FA Cup debut in 1974 in a third round 1-0 victory. Which side did United defeat that day? Plymouth. Correct. You scored four out of four. Congratulations. Let's catch up with the scores after the first two rounds of this grand final of Masterplan. Alec Fraser has established a solid base with six points. Martin Hare has 12 points, dropping just one point in his two rounds. And Simon Rumsey is hot on his heels with a total of eight. So just as expected, it's going to be a closely fought final. Next up, it's Mud and Mugs. We've taken three players and squashed their faces together. Quite simply, our contestants have to tell us who they are. Alex, please return to the chair. Pretty easy, this. You just have to identify these three players in the photograph coming up now. <laughs> Whose hair is that? Beckham's. No, it's not. One more guess on that one, because I'm generous. Paul Scholes. No. What about the eyes or the chin? Have a guess. It's a young player's eyes. No more clues. Phil Moran. Who? Phil Moran. It's not, no. And the chin is who? Gary Neville. No, Rick, I'm going to reveal them to you now. Let's have a look. Jeff Blomquist. 
How can you think it was Paul Scholes? He's a redhead. <laughs> That's Mark Wilson and Ryan Giggs. You didn't score any on that one, Alex. Bad luck. All right. Commiserations. Martin, it's your turn to tell me who are the three players within this image. He's a vision of glory. Wouldn't you like to invite him round for Sunday night? Ian Dowie. <laughs> oh. He's prettier than Ian Dowie. What about the no hair head? Um, yep, Stan? It, it's no, it's, he doesn't always have no hair. And that's all I'm giving you. Okay. Correct, okay, number two is a young player. That's all you're getting. Is that Phil Neville? No, it's not. And what about the chin? Johnson. Yes, you're absolutely correct. Okay, we're going to reveal this one. It's Alec Notman. Oh, Notman yeah. Remember him? Okay. Two out of three. Okay. Well done, Martin. Simon, take the chair. Your turn. Three points up for grabs in this round. If you can tell me who these three are. Yep, it's done. Yes. It's a young player. The eyes. Where's Brown? No. Another guess. No idea. Uh, Edwin Bottom. No, it's not. Try, try the chin. Uh, David May. No, because it's fine, like being generous, he's, it's one of Fergie's fledglings, and that's all I'm giving you. Paul Scholes. Correct, well done. Let's see who they are. It's Yap Stan, Jonathan Greening, and Paul Scholes. Two out of three, well done, Simon. Well, at the end of the first half of this Premier Grand Final, the scores stand like this. Alec finishes with six points. Martin Hare has accumulated a total of 14. And Simon Rumsey is sitting in second place with 10. We'll be back after the break, sharper than Solskjaer and more direct than Dwight, when we'll find this series superfan. The right, and straight back into the grand final of Masterfan. Returning to the chair is Alec Fraser for Show Us Your Tackle. What we're looking for here is the two players involved in the crunching challenge and the United player making the run. There are bonus points up for grabs if you're smart enough to know the season and the final score of the match. Alex, who are the players involved in the tackle in the penalty area and the United player who is flying up the left wing? Good answer. 
One guess. Danny McDermott. No, it wasn't. It was Jimmy Case. And what about the score and the season? Uh, 79 8 2. Yep. 2 1. Correct. Thomas and Green off guard. Oh, oh, <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Four out of five for you, Martin. Congratulations. Okay, okay Simon, so a quick shuffle to the seat, please. Who are the players involved in the tackle when the ball goes into touch and the United player running through the middle? The tackle? Uh, Tony Dunn. Yep, and? I think it looked like Chris Lawler. Well, one, 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 one more guess. Mike Bailey. No, it's Curran. And who was the run? Um, Quick guess. No, uh, Young. No, one more guess. Who is the final? Uh, Michael White. No, it was Georgie Best. And what was the final score in the season? Uh, was it 71 2? Yep. And was it 3-1? To who? Wolves. Correct. You got three there. Well done. Right, let's catch up with the state of play going into the specialist round. Who will be our master fan? Alec Fraser is marching on with nine. Martin Hare is in the lead with 18. And Simon Rumsey is still sitting in second place with 13. Now it's down to the roots of all matters red. This is our specialist ground, where our contestants show off their unlimited knowledge on everything Manchester United. They have 90 seconds to answer as many questions as they can on their chosen part of the club's history. In the event of a tiebreak, it will be the contestant with the most correct answers in this round who will clinch the title. Alec, please take the chair. You have 90 seconds to answer on the championship winning season 1964-5. Your 90 seconds start now. United's best win was the 7-0 thrashing of Aston Villa, who scored four goals. That is long. Correct. Pat Dunn won a championship medal in 64-65, having joined the club for £10,000 at the club. Some are Correct. United won only one of their opening six games in the league. Who is this against? West Ham. Correct. From September the 12th to December the 5th, United dropped only one point in 14 games. Who is this against? Burnley. Correct. Dennis Moore was the only player sent off in a league game. Who is this against? Blackpool. Correct. Which player made his only league appearance that season against Blackpool in November? Liam Moyer. Correct. In the 64-65 Intercity's Fairs Cup, who scored eight goals in ten games? Dennis Law. Correct. Which player scored in both the Fairs Cup games against Everton? Uh, John Kelly. Correct. Who scored on his FA Cup debut in the third round defeat at Chester? Oliver Kinsey. Correct. Name the only United player sent off in the European campaign that season. Pat Curry. Correct. Which was the last side to defeat the club in the league that season? Aston Villa. Correct. In the run into league success, United overcame their nearest challenger, Leeds United, by a single goal to win at Ellen Grove who scored. John Kelly. Correct. Who that season hit his first league hat trick for over five years? Bobby Charles. Correct. Against which team did United score five times in an FA Cup tie? Wolves. Correct. Which was the only club United failed to defeat in the league for in both games? West Brom. Correct. Which player made just one appearance in the league that season against Leicester City? Johnny Aston. Correct. You scored an absolutely sensational 16 out of 16. No passes and nothing wrong. Congratulations. Okay, Martin, up to the centre spot. It's your turn to tell us all you know about the season 1966-67. Your 90 seconds start now. Which was the last fight to defeat United in the league on Boxing Day? Sheffield United. Correct. For which player did United pay Tommy Doherty £50,000 and made his Alex Stepney. Correct. Which club ended their hope of league cup success by beating the Reds 5 Blackpool. Correct. On which ground did United clinch the title winning 6-1? West Ham. Correct. Name the club which defeated United 4-1 in October. United Forest. Correct. Who made just one appearance in the league that season as a substitute against Liverpool? Ooh. 
Which player broke his leg while scoring? David Hurd. Correct. Which club did United score nine goals against in two league games but conceded six themselves in the process? Oh, goal. Who was the Brom? Correct. Who was the Blackpool player who was the only man to score an own goal in United? And Lee Hume. Correct. Yippee. The club only won one game in the two cup competitions. Who was this against? Stoke City, third round. Correct. United recorded eight successive away draws before winning at West Ham in the final away game. In the previous away fixture before those nine games, they lost 2-1 at which ground? Sheffield United. Correct. Who scored a hat-trick to Blackpool in their 5-1 defeat of the Reds in the League Cup? Ray Chandler. Correct. Name the United player who scored an own goal in the Derby fixture at May Road. January 1966. Nobby, Nobby Correct. In November 1966, David Hurd scored a hat-trick against three Sunderland keepers. Who was the original keeper whose injury allowed this to happen? Jim Montgomery. Correct. You passed on only one, which was question six. It was Willie Anderson who came yeah, on Nobby. as substitute. 13 out of 14. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, Simon, take the red hot seat for your specialist round. You've cho chosen the inaugural premier. Season 92-93. You have 90 seconds. It starts now. Which side in United's championship winning season in 92-93 beat them 3-0 at Old Trafford? Everton. Correct. Brian Robson celebrated his first championship by scoring his only league win. Correct. United became... You don't need me. United became champions in May 93 when nearest challengers Aston Villa lost 1-0 to which club? Gordon. Correct. The club didn't record their first win at Old Trafford in the league until 2nd of September. Who did they beat? Crystal Palace. Correct. Which club in August 92 scored the first ever goal in the Premiership against Manchester United? Sheffield United. Correct. Name the player who appeared in the opening 15 matches of the campaign but didn't figure in the league again that season. Correct. Who made his debut in the FA Cup and scored in the third round? Correct. Mark Hughes scored 16 goals in all competitions, 15 in the league and one in the league cup against which club? In the league cup. Yes. Right. Correct. Who scored the goal which eliminated United from the league cup? Uh, Saunders. Correct. United were involved in one of the highest score draws of the season, drawing three teams of which club? Correct. The Reds lost only one of their last 16 games in the league. Who was it again? Oldham. Correct. Who kept goal for the club in the Old Trafford tie against Torpedo Moscow in the UEFA Cup? Oh, Correct. Which player scored his only league goal in 4-1 defeat of Tottenham in January 19? Who was correct? Who besides Glyn Hodges scored for Sheffield United in their defeat of United in the FA Cup fifth round? Jamie Harland. Correct. Wimbledon were one of only two sides to win at Old Trafford in the league. Who scored the goal? Uh, correct. Didn't pass on any perfect score. 15. Sensational. Well, that's full time and the final whistle has been blown. And this is the result. An awesome specialist round from Alec Fraser who scored 16 out of 16 with no passes and nothing wrong, which is the best score in any round in the series so far. It means he finishes with 25 points. Martin Hare, he's performed solidly all the way through and he scored 13 out of 14 in his specialist round, giving him a total of 31 points. And Simon Rumsey's spectacular specialist round notched up a perfect 15 out of 15, making his score 28. So, Martin, after a truly entertaining final, please come and claim the Master Fan Trophy. Thank Congratulations. You very much. Thank you. Thank you. And take the red chair for the last time. <laughs> Whoa, how does it feel? Uh, I'm surprised, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm shocked. I, I honestly didn't think I could do it, but. I got off to a good start, I think. Yes, that helped, didn't it? Yeah. How did you find the competition tonight? Harder than any very other? Very hard, very hard. It, it, it's the pressure. Makes you forget. And how did it feel following Alec after 16? Very difficult. I, that was magnificent, that, to get 16. Yes. You were just reeling him off, I thought. I can't do that. So I sat down here quite nervous after Alec. Yes, I bet you I did. did. Okay, boys, come and join him. You've earned it too. <laughs> did you enjoy it, Alec? I did, yes. What happened at the start? Yes, if you'd had a better start, you'd have been up there too, wouldn't you? I'd have been And Simon, did you enjoy yourself tonight? I did. Thank you very much. It's been a good competition, hasn't yeah, it? I enjoyed it. Yeah, I think the best man won. Yes, yeah, on the night you were the best man, Martin. Okay. Just 
before we finish, thanks to all the contestants who've taken part in the shows. That's it from us until the next series of Masterfan kicks in harder than Gordon McQueen in the top of a table clash. Thanks for being with us for now. Bye for now.